about cellular respiration. All of you must thought that cellular respiration only occur in present of oxygen, is it? Hmm, let us miss the oxygen first. Hi Mr. Oxygen. Hi. Do you think cellular respiration only occur during presence of you, Mr. Oxygen? Of course, they only need me. Wow, you are so confident, Mr. Oxygen. Well, but I have to say this that you are wrong. I am sorry. Actually, cellular respiration also occur during absence of oxygen and presence of oxygen. Wow. wow. Interesting, is it? So, my objective today is actually to explain to all of you about cellular respiration in absence of oxygen. Terms that we call for the cellular respiration in absence of oxygen is fermentation. So, fermentation is process in which the substance break down into simpler substance. So, have you heard about fermentation before? Anyone? I heard that we make a break by fermentation process, is it? Yes, correct dear. Other than that? Hmm, I don't know. It's okay, I will start to tell you a story about fermentation. Before interfermentation pathway, glycolysis occur in presence of oxygen for sure, then it will form a product that we call it as a pyruvate. When the absence of oxygen, pyruvate will enter the fermentation pathway. So, fermentation occur in plant cell and also in animal cell. So, we will start with plant cell first. So, glucose undergoes glycolysis and form two molecules of pyruvate. In the same time, it forms two ATP. So, these two pyruvate will undergo process decarboxylation of pyruvate, which two molecules of carbon dioxide was removed, and become two molecules of ethanol or acetaldehyde. Next, two ethanol or acetaldehyde reduced becoming two ethanol. This process called as reduction. In the same time, two NADH and two H plus is oxidized to two NAD plus by transferring two electron and two H plus. Bread is made by the addition of yeast to dough and the yeast will undergo alcohol fermentation like I told you before this. Carbon dioxide is released. Then, the dough will rise and soften the texture. So, that is how your bread is created, human. So, next, how about fermentation in animal cell? Did you know that when you are running, dancing, playing basketball, sometimes you will experience muscle cramp? Why this happen? This is because lactic acid accumulate at your muscle. Why lactic acid accumulate there? This is because absence of oxygen in your muscle, where all the oxygen go, it already used before. So, how the formation of lactic acid happen? At first, glucose undergoes glycolysis and form two molecules of pyruvate and two ATP. Then, two molecules of pyruvate will reduce, becoming two molecules of lactate or lactic acid. This process called reduction. And at the same time, 2NADH and 2H plus oxidize to 2NAD plus by transferring 2 electron and 2H plus. Then that is how you got muscle cramp, guys. It's just a piece of a cake, is it? I hope all of you understand how the fermentation process undergoes. What you need to know is the difference between this process are the product and also the step that include in the process. Let me summarize. In plant cell, there are two processes that called as decarboxylation of pyruvate, which remove of carbon dioxide, and the next process are reduction, which ethanol is reduced to ethanol. While in animal cell, there are no process of decarboxylation of pyruvate because pyruvate is directly reduced to lactate. The product that is formed in plant is ethanol and carbon dioxide while in animal is lactic acid or lactate. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give thumbs up if you like it and leave a comment down below. Thank you.